run am down here from Canada to uh, South Mississippi uh, Light Aircraft. I'm down here as a refresher course for uh, the 912s, but there's a whole bunch of people here that are, uh, have come in for the courses that you're running. What is the reason you run these courses? Well, these, these, these courses are run by the Rotex Flying and Safety Club, in which we are an instructor through the Rotex Flying and Safety Club, which is the authorized training syllabus for Rotex. And uh, they have the only approved course from Rotex uh, for this uh, syllabus for the 912 series engine. Now, when you're talking about this training course, I understand that it's actually three training courses that you're teaching. Here. That's correct. It's three days, two days. Each course is two days, two days. Uh, the first course that we will start in is the service course. That course is the basic stuff of the initial understanding the basic engine, understanding the normal maintenance on the engine, how to do the basic inspection to be able to do your inspection and stuff on the engine. Because if you took the 16-hour course or going to take the 16-hour course to do the inspection on your aircraft, then you need this course to do the actual inspection on the engine itself. And it shows uh, basically how to uh, properly change the oil in it. It shows you how to Adjust, synchronize the carburetors is a big issue. Uh, shows you how to do some basic uh, uh, checking of the engine, looking the engine over. It follows the guidelines of the maintenance man in the maintenance manual itself, is what it basically shows you how to do. And, okay. and the second course then uh, moves on to what? All right, once we've completed the two day course of the service course, then the, the second course moves into the uh, line maintenance. And the line maintenance is more a little bit more for the more progressed uh, mechanic that's going to actually be doing some physically taking components off the engine. On line, it'd be easy, like if you had a uh, problem, for, in other words, when it comes time to service the gearbox, for example, then you need to know how to take that gearbox off the engine to be able to send it to an authorized repair station that will service the gearbox for whatever time frame it needs to be serviced or any of the other components. It, uh, it, uh, in the line maintenance, we are told we'll disassemble the, they take the gearbox off, we'll pull all the ignition components off, we'll pull all the heads and the cylinders and pistons down to the basic short, short block. Uh, we do not, do not split the case in any of these courses. Now, the third, then, is what? Uh, what is the purpose of the third course? All right, the third course gets into the more advanced mechanic. Uh, you, you'll need, you, you basically, at that point, those mechanics need to be an eight licensed ANP or if it took the 120 hour course to do the repairman certificate course to be the, do the maintenance on the light sport. Because uh, all these programs have come about mainly for, from Rotex uh, mandated that. We have to have training training out here to train people to be able to maintain and keep the new light sport uh, industry uh, to keep it up. And there's a maintenance schedule in the, that get, comes with every engine, and those maintenance, that maintenance schedule has to be followed according to what Rotex says needs to be done at time intervals it needs to be done in. When we get to the heavy course, the heavy course then basically does the same thing initially that we done in the line course, we disassemble the engine, take the, take the gearboxes off, but instead of sending the gearbox, then at this point, now he learns how to service the gearbox, disassemble it, change it, reshim it, inspect it, whatever it needs, whatever time frame or whatever the gearbox needs. Same way to, uh, with the uh, ignition housing, uh, pull the ignition house, changing sprag clutches, uh, changing water pump seals, uh, pulling the heads, doing the heads, reworking the valves, uh, changing pistons and rings, uh, uh, all that components like that is what you get into with the heavy heavy maintenance. Now, if we were to start with the first course, is it a hands-on course? Is there a lot of participation with the students in actual doing physical work on the engine? All these courses is all, all got a lot of hands-on. We try to have as much hands-on uh, as we can in this because if you don't go out I mean, we can talk about it, show pictures, and explain stuff. But if the uh, if the student doesn't have a chance to go out and actually feel it, touch it, and do it, then he does not retain that information and that knowledge uh, as he would for just sitting in on a classroom. But yeah, it has a lot of hands-on. Now, what about um, 
manuals and things like that, is that supplied in the course, or is that an additional charge that they have to buy separate? No, the, the manuals at the, at the price we charge for the course, the manuals uh, in the four-stroke uh, series, 912 series, you get an operator's manual, a line maintenance manual, and a heavy maintenance manual in that course and that will cover everything that you will be addressing in these in the in the three courses first course or second course depend you know those are manuals that you're going to need in the field to maintain and service the engine now Bernie, we talk about students being involved in these courses in what aspect are they for example we were taking the oil filter how is a student going to be involved in, in that to uh, part of the uh, All right, in, in the oil in the oil change demonstration that's showing the proper way to did to, uh, to change the oil and check the components and stuff one of the one of the things is 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 it's very important to cut that oil filter open and look at it and determine if we've got any contamination or any problems this will give us some early warning if we have some problems or anything going wrong with the engine uh, so we will take uh, take the oil filters uh, as we take it off the engine, we will put it, show them a, a, an oil filter cutter, and we will cut that oil filter open, take it apart, and show them how to examine and inspect that oil filter uh, as they would normally do on every, every oil change uh, to be able to inspect that oil filter. And then also we'll be comparing the Rotex oil filter with aftermarket air oil filters, showing them the difference between the original equipment oil filter from Rotex, the difference in it and the difference between a, just a regular automotive oil filter that, that's out there that, that, that's much cheaper but it does, there's a lot of difference in the quali quality and the way the oil filter is actually made. Now ignition system wise, are we going to be talking about spark plugs and um, maintenance and that type of thing on the ignitions? Oh absolutely, in the ignition stuff we'll be discussing the, the normal spark plug change, we will be talking about the uh, uh, intervals, inspection of the spark plugs, uh, uh, checking those uh, in the ignition, how to analyze, troubleshoot some of the ignition problems that we might run into. Uh, we'll be doing all, all that type of stuff in the service, service instructions. Now you also mentioned that you're going to be doing uh, carburation, which I understand is a, a fairly large uh, part of the problems associated with the 912 in, in, as far as synchronization goes. Uh, they will get hands-on with carburetion. They will get hands-on. We will explain, show them how to properly initially set the carburetors. We will set them up with the uh, vacuum gauges and show them how to do it properly and let them actually set the carburetors and tinker with the carburetors and uh, see what the gauges do to learn how to properly set, synchronize the carburetors on the engine. Now I noticed behind you've got a prop on the gearbox. Are you actually going to get into some of the uh, propeller uh, loading factors on the engine? Oh, absolutely. In the maintenance manual, one of the things for a service on the gearbox will be the friction torque test. Very simple. It's not complicated. You don't have to have a lot of expensive equipment to be able to do it. But the friction torque test, especially on the, you'll do the, the guys that's running the 912 with the slipper clutch in it, the friction torque test is one of the things you need to do. It's at a regular interval according to the Rotex maintenance manual. And this little demonstration that we have set up here is a hands-on where they can play with it uh, anytime they want to to feel it, to know and understand the different, why, how simple it is to be able to do that check and be able to maintain the gearbox on the engine. Now, how often do you run these courses during the year? These courses are, we, we are trying to get them set up to where we can run them approximately every three months. So if somebody wanted to get a hold of you to uh, attend one of these courses, what's the easiest way to do it? Uh, the, one, the, the quickest way is to just go on the website and uh, pull my website up, uh, uh, flysmla.com, uh, pull it up and uh, that'll show the schedule and dates and uh, phone number. They can call and inquire about it and get a little more or either go on the Rotex Safety Flying Club com site that will give them on that site's listed when the uh, next coming uh, programs is, is going to happen and